You're an expert in blood chemistry. Right. What sort of things can we learn uh, from the makeup of our blood, from what you can test with? The main secret to success is early detection. Because if we have early detection, then we are able to work with the cancer and have a greater success, ultimately. So there are more and more people, scientists, who are pointing toward and realizing that blood chemistry is truly the blueprint for predicting cancer. So I learned this from Dr. Harold Manor. He wrote the book Death of Cancer back in the 70s, before anyone ever thought of such a thing. He was uh, in the biology department at the University of Loyola in Chicago, and he got fired for writing that book. So that was good because he formed the Metabolic Institute and did cancer studies, and he was the one that discovered Laetrile and B17 that they're down in the cancer convention talking about right now, like it's brand new. Yeah. So I hung out at his cancer clinic in Mexico and picked his brain and learned the basis for what I do today, and that was many years ago, 70s. And so, I've been doing this for about 45, 50 years, Scott, and in that length of time, I had thousands of clients and learned so much. Going from this level all the way up, met a wonderful biochemist, a physicist, brilliant brainy guy that put us on the moon with NASA, personal friend, who took all of this information out of here and put it into a software program, which is unbelievable. I kept saying, can't be done, can't be done. He said, sure it can be done. And it took him a long time, but he did it. So when I send one of the clients to a lab near their home, we have them all over the United States, and we send them to a lab, and the lab does the blood and the urine. They send the results to me. The client fills out a questionnaire all about their medical history, uh, their symptoms, everything about themselves, what they do, what they eat. The bottom line is, with all that information and with 130 tests being read nutritionally rather than medically, I download them into the computer. The computer does 15,000 calculations and comes up with a nutritional blueprint. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. So the doctors don't really know what they're looking at when they look at blood chemistry. They really don't. They're not trained to understand that. How do you think they get the medical range in this country? They take a cross-section of American population, they take the mean average, and they call that the medical range? And I would think the average person would know that people in this country are not healthy, and that isn't the way that you should have determined a range. Mine is pulled in a couple of standard deviations into a nutritional ideal range. And that's what we work with. So it's pretty exciting because I've learned a lot. Like there's a test called LDH, lactic dehydrogenase. And when that is decreased, that's malnutrition. When that's increased, that's telling us oxidative stress and oxidative stress is the fertile ground for every disease and specifically for cancer.